Welcome to EdTech Hustle. If you're like me, you're probably looking for a way to engage or interact with your audience. And I'm going to show you one way that you can do this. The website is called Poll Everywhere. You can find it at polleverywhere.com. And this is great because if you're speaking to an audience, it's a great way to have your participants use their device to do something like you're looking at the screen to vote to create a word cloud, lots of different options. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can use Poll Everywhere to create a quick multiple choice poll for your audience. So now first, let's talk about the cost. As you can see on the screen, there is a free plan for Poll Everywhere that you can sign up really quickly. Now, there are some limitations. As you can see, it does limit your audience size to 40 participants. So if you have a group bigger, you're probably going to have to up grade to one of these other plans. The good thing is if your audience is smaller, this is something that you can use for unlimited questions and there's a lot of really great options that are available. Okay, so this is your dashboard and every registration does come with an activity response URL. So this is going to be the website that your participants will go to to take part in your poll. But first, before I create the poll, but first, before I give the poll, I do have to set it up. So this is called an activity. I'm just going to select plus that button, the plus button. And you can see there's a number of different options. You have a multiple choice, which is the one we're doing. But there's several other options as well that I plan to cover in a different video. So let me go ahead and we will do a multiple choice question. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding my first question. And the question is, how much time do you typically spend on your phone each day? So I want to ask my audience a number of multiple choice questions based on their phone usage. Okay, so my first question is done. Now what I'm going to do is to select this option. I'm going to add another activity. Again, a multiple choice question. Okay, my second question is done. And now let me do one more question or activity. Here it is, I have my last question. So now what I'm going to do is to select create. And in a second, I'm going to share this with my audience to show you what this will look like. Now, I do want to make sure that you pay attention to this. And this is the configure section. OK, you are going to want to make sure that you configure this correctly. Now, there's a number of different options that you can do with some of the premium features like this one. You can see you can customize the URL, that sort of thing. But here's what you want to make sure that you set, because nothing is worse than sharing a link or a QR code with people that aren't able to respond for this one if you just want to go in and share this and have people uh, just enter their responses anonymously you probably want to choose this option okay so uh, this one says who can participate I'm going to make this completely anonymous I trust my audience but if you don't want to do that you can also set a screen name so people will have to create a name first before they log in. So that's what I'm going to do. There's some other settings here as well. You can see some other options as well as a timer. There's also a way that you can test this if you would like. So what I wanna do now is share this with my audience. Another thing you will have to do is click this button to activate the responses. Make sure you click this button before you share this survey with your audience. So now I'm going to click activate and this essentially is ready to start collecting responses. All right, so what I'm going to do now is select the present button. And if I am the speaker of this presentation, I will have to have a way to make sure that I'm logged into Poll Everywhere so I can launch this by selecting present. I would click on that link. I would launch this. This is what's projected on my screen. And now my participants can take part in this survey. So now I'm going to pull this up to show you what this will look like as the participant. I'm going to take out my phone. I'm going to tap on that QR code. And now you can see that I will be able to log in. I'm just going to go to skip. And from here, now I can add answer this question. So the first question, how much time do you spend? I'm going to say less than one hour. 
Yeah, right. Now, as I do this, you'll notice that the screen has changed. So this will change in real time as soon as participants make a selection. Now, one thing you'll notice is that when I'm on here as a participant on my phone, I have no way to advance the slides. The only one who can do that is the presenter, which is why it's important that if you're presenting this, you need to make sure that you are signed in. So now this is done. We'll talk about it with my audience. And now I'm going to move to the next question. And you'll notice as I move to the next question, the participants will also change. Now, one of the things that's on here is you can see that it does ask people to sign in as a presenter, leave a screen name, but again, they can skip that if they would like. So the next question, uh, which of the following do you use your phone for the most? I'm going to say work, productivity apps. There we go. Now that one shows up. And then finally, our last question, again, how do you feel about your current phone screen time. I'll just say this one. I think it's too little, right? Okay. So now that is finished. I have all of my audience with the results. This will help inform me where, what the collective knowledge is of the group that I am speaking to. So from here, what I'm going to do is probably just close out of my screen. Here's what it's going to look like now. Uh, on Poll Everywhere, you can see that since I ended the presentation, I launched it, it's no longer active. I would then have to activate it again. So no one can vote after I'm done. And that's just about it. Now there is some options for you to go back and check on the results. So if I go to this activity tab and I open this particular activity, you can see it's then going to show me these particular results. If I go down to response history, it's then going to show me some of those responses and the overall count. It also gives me some options in terms of being able to download and save material. So again, we're just getting started with Poll Everywhere, but I wanted to show you a quick and easy way if you're presenting to a group and you wanna survey that group or even give them a multiple choice question, one way to do it is Poll Everywhere. It's free, it's easy, and I think it can be something helpful for a potential presentation. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment area below. Also, make sure that you like and subscribe. So thanks again for watching and have a great day.